so friends in our mu class 4 orals there are sometimes questions asked on the overhauling of main engine overhauling of thrust bearing checks on main bearing and how to take clearance of thrust bearing so i have covered all the topics in this video so please watch the video till the end overhaul procedure of main bearing and thrust bearing of auxiliary engine so before overhauling we need some tools to be kept ready so we will keep ready these tools like hydraulic pump and all as you can see drawing out tool of main bearing holder holding tool of main bearing upper metal deattaching and attaching tool so as we have kept our all the tools and read the manual for the overhaul of engine we will bring the piston 120 degree before tdc to let the main bearing be at the position so that we can easily take it out now install the spacer and hydraulic jack on the main bearing bolts after that follow the same procedure as i have told in my video of cylinder head overhauling now we will remove the side bolt of main bearing So now with the help of hydraulic pump we will raise the pressure. So we will raise this according to the manual. So we will follow the same procedure which we followed on cylinder head overall. So specified hydraulic pressure for this ENMAR engine is 58.8. Now with the help of turning bar we will loosen the nut of the main bearing. Once both the nuts are loosened, then we will reduce the pressure from the hydraulic pump. As you can see, it has come to zero. Remove the hydraulic jack and the spacer. Now set the drawing out tool on the main bearing. Now fix the drawing out bolt at the drawing out tool as you can see then with the help of this we will take out the main bearing metal cap so as you can see that the main bearing cap is loosened now we'll take out the drawing out tool now one by one we will remove the nut of the main bearing and fix the holding bolt tool so don't remove both at once because the cap may fall so as you can see this is the holding tool so this holding tool is used to hold the metal cap of main bearing as you can see we have fixed on the both bolt and we will hold the metal cap and remove the metal of the main bearing Now remove the main metal of the main bearing. So once we have removed the bottom metal, now we will remove the upper metal of the main bearing. For that we will use the tool named as detaching attaching pin. So we will fix it from the drill passage of the crankshaft for the lube oil and we will rotate the crankshaft smoothly so that our metal is out so this is how we will remove the both metals of the main bearing upper and the lower metal so now we will remove the thrust metal of the main bearing which is at the flywheel side of the engine so this is the position of the thrust metal so in our auxiliary engine we are having thrust metal in place of thrust block because there are no much thrust forces acting on the auxiliary engine so for removing this thrust metal first we have to remove the main bearing and then we can remove easily this thrust metal as we have seen 
so once we have removed the metal of the main bearing now we will check the parts now we will check the metal for scratches and any foreign embedded metal on them and we will with the help of outside ball micrometer we will check the thickness of the metal as you can see if they are beyond the limit then we have to change the metal so once we have checked all the limits with the manual and now we have to assemble all the parts back as we have taken out we will fix it back so this printed part should be towards the cylinder block side so you can see we are fixing the thrust metal back and we will fix this groove towards the crankshaft side and we will fix the lower metal of the thrust metal now we will rotate the crankshaft smoothly so that we can fix the lower and the upper metal so we will bring it at a position so that we can easily fix the both metal now fix the upper metal towards the non-operating side of the crankshaft as you can see we will fix the upper metal now we will insert the inserting tool at the metal cap of the main bearing at this time leave the lower metal off yet don't fix the lower metal only fix the upper metal now fix the detaching attaching pin to the drill passage for the lubrication in the crankshaft now with the help of the bolts tighten the metal cap of the main bearing and after tightening we will rotate smoothly the crank out to the help of flywheel so once the upper metal is up of the crankshaft we will leave it and we will fix the bottom bearing as you can see we are rotating the crankshaft so due to which this upper metal is going towards upside so as it reaches the required position we will stop the rotation and we will remove the metal cap to fix the lower metal so before fixing the lower metal we will take out the inserting tool and the deattaching attaching pin so as you can see we have fixed the upper metal and now we are fixing the lower metal now fix the metal cap of the main bearing properly so it's required position as you can see we have fixed the metal cap now remove the holding tool and fix the nut one by one on the main bearing bolt so once we have fixed the nuts of the main bearing bolt now we will fix the side bolt of the main bearing with the required torque now as we have removed our main bearing bolts by the hydraulic jack we will fix it back to the help of hydraulic jack So for tightening the specified hydraulic pressure is 58.8 megapascal as you can see we will fix the bolts and now we will tighten the side bolts with a required specified torque so once the overhauling of main bearing has been finished we have to take the crankshaft deflection after every overhaul so for that i will upload a separate video on marine help board as you know my old channel has been suspended due to which i have to upload these videos again so now we'll check the thrust clearance also for checking the thrust clearance we will mount the dial gauge now fix the stand of dial gauge on the thrust block and fix the dial gauge on the crankshaft as you can see we are fixing it and making it zero so that we can get accurate clearance so after fixing it to zero now we will push the crankshaft with the help of crossbar or any rod 
so the thrust value should be between 0.112 to 0.158 mm for this engine so you can note the value of the dial gauge for the thrust clearance so friends this completes the total overall of four stroke engine so i have uploaded all the video from cylinder head to the main bearing and the thrust bearing on this channel marine help port so friends if these videos were helpful please like and share the videos and subscribe the channel marine help port